Dr. Hilda Summer Evers dort hier. Your report mentions several cases of um, political prisoners being held in Azerbaijan. How big a problem is it? How, how many people are being held? Well, the exact numbers vary, but we've usually been thinking about uh, around 100 cases of political prisoners, up to 130. It has been a, a sort of aspect of controversy how many they are. There are different lists compiled by different people. What cannot be disputed, however, are multiple court judgments based on Article 18 of the Convention, which uh, prohibits the, let's say, abuse of uh, restricting the rights of members of, of uh, sorry of individuals uh, under the convention on prohibited grounds and this in legalese can be translated into misusing basically the permission that a state has to restrict their citizens rights for an impermissible purpose and in the case of Azerbaijan it has been the political persecution uh, the dep deprivation of liberty of political opponents of uh, of the state and of uh, people who are active when it comes to NGOs or journalism that are critical of the current And government. indeed also the lawyers representing these yes, people. Yes, there's also a persisting problem of them being deprived of their right to uh, uh, practice as a lawyer and uh, also even imprisonment. Yes. They've been criticized by the, by the Court of Human Rights, by the Venice Commission. It's, it's, there's a lot of widespread criticism. It doesn't seem to have had much effect on Azerbaijan. I was sorry to see uh, that the Azeri authorities remain in denial about this problem because it has now been declared as a structural troubling pattern by the court. They say that uh, they see this troubling pattern of using criminal law to punish political participation, to punish being in opposition basically to the government. Uh, and that this is misuse of criminal law and that it's in defiance of the rule of law. So those are very grave words coming from the European Court of Human Rights. And of course, it's the only country as well that's had an Article 46 judgment uh, rendered upon it. It's refusal to uh, fulfill a judgment of the European Court of Human Rights, which is a very serious issue, of course, and that's never happened before. But there are methods, obviously, that there is a procedure to take in cases like this to try to put them under increasing pressure, the, the authorities in Azerbaijan, but how are you going to do that? How are you going to increase the pressure and actually get it to have an effect? Well, I think by approving both the resolution today and the recommendation to the Committee of Ministers, we've already added the pressure that is on Azerbaijan to fulfill its obligations to the words of the Council of Europe and its own citizens, of course. We also, in this session, agreed to a new joint procedure where all of the three, let's say, pillars of this organization can work together to try and get a member state in line. And I think considering the rejection of the Azeri authorities to even admit that there's a problem gets us to question perhaps that's what this special mechanism was created for. At least we've hit a certain impasse now. Everyone agrees Azerbaijan needs to reform its justice system. Everyone agrees that Azerbaijan needs to have an independent body that reviews these cases that are suspected political prisoners and releases those that are found to be political prisoners. And if it doesn't do that if it doesn't comply we have to ask ourselves where does Azerbaijan stand in its membership to the Council of Europe Dohila Summer sorry I've asked what here sorry I'm gonna cough I'm gonna have to cut this bit and do it again okay we're still rolling all right Dohilda Summer Ivers dot here thank you very much indeed for your time thank you for having me